Hi, I'm Gary from organicweb.com.au. I deliver MailChimp training, and in my MailChimp meetup in Brisbane, Australia last week, someone asked how they can send an email once someone clicks on a specific link in another email. So let me show you that. Now, this is a more advanced MailChimp topic, but just because it's advanced doesn't mean it's difficult. So I'll show you how. So let's go into MailChimp itself. As you can see, I'm in MailChimp and I'm in the campaigns section. So what we're wanting to do again is based on when someone clicks a link in an email campaign, we want to send another email. So what I'm going to do is based on this organic web MailChimp training one, two, three, four, five, I'm going to say if someone clicks a very specific link in that, I want another email sent. The way I do that is through automation. So I click create campaign. I then click email. Now you might see automation down the side on the left hand side, but I will click on email. I'm going to click automated. Instead of choosing one of the existing recipes or workflows, I'm going to click custom. I can call this anything I want to. You can call it whatever you want. Choose your audience name and click begin. Okay, my spelling wasn't very good then, but that's absolutely fine. So the trigger at the moment for my workflow is one day after subscribers are manually added to the workflow. I don't want that. I want it to be when someone clicks a specific link in a specific campaign. So I'm going to click edit. I click change trigger. Campaign activity. And I'm going to click where it says specific link in campaign clicked. So I'm going to click that. I set my delay. So for example, immediately. So immediately after the campaign being my campaign name. So in this case, uh, I'm wanting it to be a link in the campaign called Organic Web MailChimp Training. And I will enter the URL. So this URL needs to be the same URL that's in the campaign that you want clicked. So when that URL is clicked in that campaign, it will trigger this workflow. So I click update trigger. And now what I can do is I can design my emails. And that's how simple this is. Thank you for joining me.